Yes. Use that. Number three, learn how to control cash flow. Learn how to control cash flow. Cash flow is the lifeblood of any individual and the lifeblood of any business. Cash is king. Cash flow is the kingmaker. So you must learn how to control cash flow. Listen and listen well. Everyone on earth makes money. Think about it. Everyone on earth makes money. So making money is never the issue. Making enough money is the issue. But most of the time, instead of thinking of making more money, why not think of how to manage the one you have already made? And that's where cash flow management comes in. Even a profitable business can go bankrupt without cash flow. It's called liquidity. No liquidity. They don't have cash. They can have assets without cash. So you must learn how to control cash flow. So as an individual, every money that comes into your hand, savings and investment is not negotiable. It's not negotiable. And let me help you. You can go to my YouTube channel. If you are not following me on social media, do. You will learn a lot. There are so many free content. On my YouTube channel, there are probably thousands of videos there that will help you. But listen to this. I just did a series on developing a savings culture, part one to five. And let me just give you one of the things that you need to understand that will help you so that you will realize that many of these things, you are just killing yourself instrumentally. Now listen. Every money you are going to make in your lifetime will not be paid to you once. So if you're going to work for 35 years, they won't carry the old 35 years salary I give you. No. Every money you are going to be paid in your lifetime will be paid to you periodically as salaries and income. Money is tripartite. Money is a spirit. Money has a soul. Money lives in a body. The spirit of money is mammon. That's what controls your thoughts, your impulses, your decisions, and your choices. The soul of money is the value of that currency in the marketplace governed by market forces. The body of money is the currency and the paper in your purse and in your wallet. Money has a past, money has a present, money has a future. Every time money comes into your hand, if you don't understand how to activate the trinity of money, you can never be wealthy. So when money comes, every time you collect that paycheck, a portion of that money belongs to your past to take care of the bills you have already incurred. A portion of that money belongs to your present to take care of your ongoing obligation. A portion of that money belongs to your future. It's called savings and investment. I still had this discussion with my wife. I'm here with my family. They came in from, for Easter holiday, so I came in from the UK, from um, US and Canada to join them so that we can go home together. And when I came, my wife said, hey, we need to repair this one. Uh, we need to change this cut here. We need to change this one. I said, babe, sit down. Do we live here? I said, we don't live here. It's our house. We have rented portions out to people. I said, so sit down. There's no secret here. I said, the rent that all these people are paying every month is 850. I said, so 850 times 12. Council tax. We are paying this. We are paying that. So by the time you remove everything, out of the 850, about 450 is gone. Sometimes 500 is gone. So every month, all we now get is like 300, 250 times 12. I said, put all that together. Plus, I so whether the cutting is beautiful or not, we don't live here. <laughs> when we come, we manage it for one month, we go. Why? Because this is the mathematics of the issue. Or else, <laughs> it's not going to work. You say, hey, ah, it's true, but ah, I was just thinking. Because when I came in and I saw the cutting, and I said, don't, don't look at the cutting. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at the cut. Look at me. <laughs> look at your child. Look at us. <laughs> look at cut. Hello. Because before you know it, this, 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 this money is gone. Hello. So you must learn how to. So every money that comes. So if you now get, let's assume now that your salary, depending on what you earn, let's assume that you earn, let's say four thousand pounds a month, two thousand pounds a month, two thousand five. So let's say you earn four thousand pounds a month. Inside that four thousand, a portion of that four thousand belongs to your past. A portion belongs to your present. A portion belongs to your future. If you spend the entire 4,000 without savings, you have eaten your future. So, which witchcraft is greater than that one? So many of you are witches. You just don't know. You are a witch confirmed. Because you are eating your future every day. You are eating your future every day. You are eating your future. And you don't know that something is wrong with you. That's witchcraft. You are eating your future. You will now discover that when you enter the future, there is no future. 
you know why? You see, many times religion messes with people. Colorful, very bright, I must get there. Colorful, very bright, I must get there. My future is right, I must get there. Hey, my future is right, I must get there. Jesus. We'll be dancing. Sometimes I sit down there and i ah, God, deliver your children. Your future is not bright. It's not a cause. Your future is not bright. It's not a cause. There is nothing called future. The future is a concept. Tomorrow is a concept. Today is yesterday's future. Today is the tomorrow you spoke about yesterday. So 10 years ago, you said the future is bright. 10 years later, is it bright? Alpha. So stop deceiving yourself with religion and prayer without following the word I'm living in balance. Because when you enter that future, there will be no future. Because the future you create is the future you inhabit. So 10 years later, you will just realize that you are still struggling. Yeah, God forbid. No problem. There are many things that God has forbidden that life has permitted. There are many things that God has forbidden that your ignorance, your laziness, your attitude, your choices are permitted. So if you like, be doing God forbid. Listen, there are people I have spoken to 20 years ago, 15 years ago about investment. And I told them, if you do this thing, ah, in 10 years time, they say, ah, 10 years is foul. Is there nothing we can do? Nah, 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 that can be getting money every now, nah, 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 nah. Many of them, 10 years has come and gone. They are still where they are. Hello? 15 years have come and gone. They are still where they are. When I came into the UK, I came into the UK for the first time in 1997. Hello? And immediately I came in, 98 was my turn around. I began to understand things. By 99, I started looking for investment. By 2000, I started doing a lot of stuff. And when I started selling land, I started selling land in this UK, going on Ben TV in those days, going on Nigeria, doing all kinds of stuff. There are people I introduced land to that knew me when I was a poor man in this London. They are still in London now, 27 years later. They are still poor. <laughs> they are still poor. And me that came poor from Nigeria, I'm now even rich in pounds. They are here, they are still poor. And he said, ah, it's true, I know that man. Ah, in those days, he used to, we used to enter in those days, in those days. But many of them, I introduced things to them. They didn't do. They didn't believe. Hey, it's a lie. You know, I don't, I don't believe in Nigeria. I don't believe in all this Nigeria. I don't do Nigerian investment. Okay, which one have you done in UK? Because many of you are just on serious people. You say Nigeria is bad. The place that produces is bad. No problem. This place that is good, where is your investment? Hello? So cash, flow, you must learn how to use cash flow. Because when the cash stops flowing, there will be trouble. So there are many other things.